بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay so the next thing we'll try to understand the OSP of metrics like previously i discussed an example where it says okay each and every interface it will derive the cost and it is going to calculate the overall cost to reach that particular destination based on some of all the cost values but now the question is how these cost values are derived how exactly the or what is the formula or what is the process behind this one so by default ospf like in in case of cisco routers specifically we are focusing here like there are three different ways to derive the cost values so the first one is like based on the default calculation for interface like this is the first method again i'll i'll just explain that in the next slides so the default one which is called as interface bandwidth so based on the interface bandwidth like uh, 10 to the power of 8 divided by bandwidth it will take like let's say the bandwidth on this interface is 1544 kbps so it's going to automatically uh, consider 10 to the power of 8 means again 10 8 zeros you can write down nothing but 100 mbps 100 mbps means again you can write something like this and if you write down 1544 kbps kbps means uh, three zeros and if you just uh, derive this you get 64 so you can see the table here there is a default reference table so depending upon the bandwidth what you have so the more bandwidth you have automatically the cost will come down so it is like inversely proportional and by default the cost value will be derived based on the bandwidth settings you do on the interface so that is one option which is the default option we can say but again there are two or more other options where we can change the cost values by directly going to the interface and we can change it so that is another option again we'll verify these options a little bit detail in the next coming coming slides and the third option is we can also change this reference value like the default reference value is 10 to the power of 8 divided by bandwidth we can also change that uh, that is and again the third option so depending upon the configuration commands what you do inside the ospf based on that the calculations will be done and let's say if i'm not making any changes the default will be the first option so let's try to understand the first option the default and then also we'll try to see the other two options which can influence the cost values into your ospf uh, domain or the ospf configurations so let's start with the first option so the first option is the default reference bandwidth that's what we call it as now the default reference bandwidth means uh, by default the spf algorithm is going to calculate the cost for each route based on the interface bandwidth right so we know that the best route is calculated based on the least cost and that particular cost is derived based on the bandwidth like here you can see the table which indicates uh, depending upon that the default formula is like 100 mbps means as i said 10 to the power of 8 means if you write eight zeros probably 10 to the power of 8 okay so 10 to the power of 8 100 mbps so probably if i write 100 mbps and then divided by whatever the bandwidth you have on that particular interface like if i'm using the bandwidth of 1544 kbps 1544000 then based on the calculation you get the cost as 64 so similar way if i'm not if i'm using a link of ethernet link let's say this link is ethernet and by default ethernet supports 10 mbps that is a default interface bandwidth which is the default the cost will automatically come to 10 and if the if the link is fast ethernet link which is 100 mbps then it will be 1 and again the main drawback with this first option is if you are using anything above 100 mbps still the cost value will be derived as 1 so because the default reference is 100 mbps so even if i'm writing 1 gig that is divided by interface bandwidth still you know it will consider as 1 which is again the limitation so there is no mechanism to differentiate the links which are high speed more than 100 mbps so which means that whether you are using 100 mbps or 100 gig interface so the cost value will be derived as 1 so that is one one kind of limitation okay so by default this is the way it will calculate 
And if you want to verify this, you can use show IP OSPF interface brief, where you can see the interfaces you have and what are the cost present on those interfaces. Like if I go to my topology, like on the router one, I'll try to verify the cost values on both the routers, both the interfaces. So either I can use show IP OSPF interface brief. Brief command doesn't work in the packet tracer, so you can try this in the genus or on the physical devices. So I just use OSPF uh, interface, which lists all the interfaces. And you can see this is my gig ethernet link, which is showing the cost of one. And if you come down a little bit, you can see the serial link, the cost is 64. So this is like the default cost because the default bandwidth present on this interface is 1544 and the default bandwidth here is uh, like 1000 Mbps, like one gig, right? It's a gig link.